Well, hi there. My name is Perry, and welcome to the Literary Niterary. So today I am doing the booktube newbie tag. Um, I'm hoping that this video will serve as a sort of introduction for anyone who is new to my channel. And as such, I'm hoping that you will indulge me and let me share a few other pieces of contextual background information before we get into the questions. So my name is Perry, I'm 22, and I graduated from college about a year ago with a degree in English literature and theater arts, as well as a minor in classical civilizations and a minor in economics, but we don't really need to talk about that. I mentioned that because those three interests, um, literature, theater, and classics will sort of inform a lot of of the content that you see on this channel and also because that degree program definitely shaped the way that I think about texts and reading and gave me the opportunity to pursue and research certain interests that I'm hoping to continue to investigate uh, on this channel. Obviously books and reading is a major interest of mine but other interests I have that in turn inform what I like to see in books and that I may eventually dedicate videos on this channel to include things like theater, dance, and the performing arts, hiking, camping, and backpacking, veganism and vegan food, um, cats, knitting and crocheting, and other sort of fiber arts and crafty stuff, as the name of my channel might suggest, and writing, editing, and creativity in general. And also just because I think the Myers-Briggs is fun, I'm an INTJ. So without any further ado, let's get into the questions. Question one is, why did you start this channel? Basically, this is a two-part answer. Um, as soon as I discovered BookTube in the summer of 2018, I was really excited by it, and I had a lot of ideas and I really wanted to get involved, um, but I didn't until basically early this April, I was laid off from my job as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, so I suddenly had a lot more time on my hands. And in addition to that, a lot of the creative outlets I had been intending to partake in, which were related to theater and the performing arts, had also been shut down for the foreseeable future, again, for the safety of public health. And so I had been looking for something that would take up some of my time and that would serve as a creative outlet would get me back in the habit, back in the swing of making things. I was hoping that booktube would be that thing, so I finally took the leap and did it. Question number two is what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? I don't want to get too hung up on the idea of being unique because it is a big platform and I can't pretend to know what's going on in every corner of the platform and creativity works in mysterious ways. But with that said, I do have some ideas that I'm really excited about. First of all, as I mentioned, I'm really into theater and something I don't see a lot of on booktube is people reading and talking about plays, especially contemporary plays. So that's something I'm hoping to sort of bring more of into this space. Similarly, I have a lot of ideas about content that I want to do about classics, but not just straight up reading and reviewing classics, but also having conversations about how we as contemporary individuals engage with classics and what we do with them. So things like retellings and adaptations or criticism that views these works through a lens of feminism or queer theory or post-colonial theory. I'm really interested in people of today taking older cultural artifacts and making them their own. So I do tend to like old stuff just for the sake of it being old, but I also like to see the old things made new. And so that's something I'm hoping to do kind of a lot of on this channel as I continue to read and explore down those sort of avenues. Question three is what are you most excited for about this channel? and it's probably a really basic answer but I'm just excited to get to talk about books with other people again. Um, I've been really missing my English degree and the class discussions that we would have in it uh, and I just think it'll be really great to get to sort of enter this bookish online community and express my thoughts on books and hear other people's thoughts on books, have friendly debates about books, like all of that is stuff that I used to have in my life until recently. Uh, and now have much less of, um, so it's something I'm really hoping to get back by getting involved on this platform. It's something that I loved doing and that I've been missing, so I'm happy to be here. Question number four is, why do you love reading? And the answer is a lot of reasons, but I will say that the, the feeling that attracts me to reading is that feeling of being so totally engrossed and immersed and absorbed in a story that you forget who you are. Um, you might have experienced something similar when you go to see a play or if movies work slightly better for you than they do for me when you go to see a movie and you forget about yourself while you're watching. A book can really suck you in in sort of the same way and that level of immediacy, that opportunity to forget yourself for a while is, I just think, really valuable and a feeling that I really enjoy. But another thing that I keep coming back to and a reason that I am happy to make books and reading such a large part of my life is that I truly believe that reading can teach us to be more empathetic people I think that when you hear the voice of someone else in your head, and especially when that voice belongs to someone who is dissimilar to you in some way, who's had a different life experience than you, having the voice of the author or the character in your head is a really intimate thing and something that I think allows you and enables you to be more understanding of other people. So basically I think that reading is one way that we can practice empathy to get better at it, and I do think that books and reading will be part of how we build a kinder, gentler, better world. 
Okay, the next question is what book or series got you into reading? Um, the like original answer for this, like the first one, Lost to the Mists of Time, I have no idea. But I will say that the last time that I got into sort of recreational reading as an adult, the time that has sort of seemed to really stick, um, the book that began that sort of reading jag was The Couple Next Door by Sherry Lapina. The next question is, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? And I guess my answer to this is like, what is, how does social media work? <laughs> I didn't have a personal Instagram or Twitter until I started booktube, so all of my like social media accounts are purposefully book related, but as such I'm not in the habit of using those platforms and I don't really understand what they are for or how to comfortably regularly use them. But for some reason YouTube is slightly more intuitive to me, but something like Twitter I just find slightly baffling. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would, I would ask how how does how what is social media the next question is what challenges around starting a booktube channel do you think will be the hardest to overcome my answer to this one is sort of similar to the last question uh in that they're both in the vein of sort of social anxiety but basically i have a really hard time taking myself seriously in general i've already listed my interests for you and you'll notice that they're in the arts and humanities um and we live in a culture where there's this very pervasive idea that the only way to be smart is to be good at stem the only way to be useful is to be good at STEM. The only way to be productive is to be good at STEM. Even though a lot of these same people who devalue arts and culture regularly consume the products of arts and culture and could not conceive of recreation without them. But basically I've let people who have a very narrow definition of what success or intelligence or what have you looks like get inside my head. I've internalized the things that they say and now I have a hard time taking my own self seriously, taking my own interests seriously. And so something like booktube, which basically combines literature, social media, and like enthusiasm, all of which are things that are stigmatized or regarded as frivolous to some degree, or at least I feel like they are, um, is something that I kind of have a lot of insecurity built up around. Because again, over the years, I've let people tell me that the things that I love the most, the things that I'm the best at, and the things that I want to dedicate my life to are not worth my time or anyone else's. But that's not a mindset that I want to let control me, so here I am doing the thing that I want to do. Okay, the next question is, when did you start reading? And basically the answer to this is, I don't remember. I don't remember ever not being able to read. If my parents are to be believed, I taught myself to sound out words between the age of two and three, and I basically haven't stopped ever since. And the next question is, where do you read? My answer is basically either on my bed or on my couch. Although in less pandemic-y times, I do appreciate a good library or a coffee shop for a little bit of a change of scene. And the final question is, what kinds of books do you like to read? Uh, the simple answer is basically all the kinds. I like to read all the books. The more nuanced answer though is basically that I feel myself simultaneously um, leaning into my degree and leaning away from my degree. So leaning away from my degree meaning that I'm willing to be totally omnivorous, I'm letting myself explore uh, commercial and genre fiction in ways I haven't before. So like I didn't read an adult genre romance until the year 2019 but now I really enjoy them and they're really good for escapism or for fun or for when you just need something to take a break from like the stress. Um, so I'm letting myself explore and really figure out what I like by exploring. And then sort of leaning into the degree side is some of the stuff that I've sort of already mentioned where I like to read classics, I like to read retellings of classics and adaptations of classics. Um, I'm interested in what people can do with classics. I'm still reading poetry and plays and those are things that I studied in school. I'm still particularly interested in the British literary canon and ancient Greek literature and I still enjoy reading criticism or texts that write about and deconstruct other texts. Basically I'm a little bit of a generalist or a jack of all trades in all things and this channel really isn't any different. I have a lot of interests and I'm really passionate about all of them um, so the channel itself is definitely going to be a little bit of a grab bag although I'm hoping that I will be able to make individual individual videos that focus in on more specific niches, but the channel as a whole is definitely going to be just a great big miscellany and hopefully we will find an excellent balance for all of the bookish goodness. Alright guys, that is it for me today. Uh, if you yourself are a booktube newbie or a small channel, please shout yourself out in the comments down below and I will come check you out and give you some love. And please let me know what your favorite booktube videos to make or to watch are. I also wanted to say that once again there will be links and resources in the description surrounding what's going on in the world, um, particularly the Black Lives Matter movement, um, Black bookish content, and issues affecting the LGBTQ plus community, although with the way that this year has been going that could all be totally different by the time the video goes up. But I hope you'll take a look down there and do what you can. Um, as always, I hope everybody is staying happy, healthy, and safe to the greatest extent possible, and I hope that somewhere there is a great book waiting out there just for you. Bye!